everyone, welcome back to the kitchen. And today I have another family favorite. This one is perfect for the holidays. We're gonna be making a delicious hot spinach and artichoke dip that you can make in your electric skillet or hold in your crock pot and everybody is gonna be so happy. You're gonna be able to put this on your appetizer buffet or on your open house buffet or make it anytime you feel like you need a little spinach artichoke goodness. I can't wait to show you how this all comes together. making a hot artichoke and spinach dip. I'm gonna be taking this to a baby shower today. And you might recall several years ago, I'm thinking six or seven years ago, we did a similar dip that we put in the crock pot and we were saying that you could easily keep this in the crock pot and you can. And it's a great way to make it and then take it to a, a party, a potluck or what have you. Today I'm gonna to be making this in an electric skillet and I'm just gonna carry the whole skillet to the baby shower and that way we can just plug it in and keep it warm. But like all good spinach dips, this is gonna start with some cream cheese. So I have two eight ounce bricks of cream cheese. I have softened because we're gonna mix it all up before we put it in the skillet. And then we're gonna mix it with some mayonnaise. So I have a cup of mayonnaise, a cup of shredded mozzarella cheese, a half a cup of grated Parmesan, and of course we have the usual suspects. We have two cans of quartered um, artichoke hearts that I have drained and I just ran, them, uh, ran a knife through them to chop them up a little bit because I find that even though they do come apart um, in their different layers when you stir the dip together, sometimes those big leaves can tend to be a little cumbersome, especially when you're dealing with you know, eating while holding your plate. So I went ahead and I ran my knife through them and I chopped them up a little bit. And I have a 12 ounce bag of frozen chopped spinach. We are not going to heat this. We are not going to squeeze it dry. We're just gonna throw it right in. And we're gonna start everything off by sauteing eight ounces of sliced cremini mushrooms with some butter and garlic. So that's what we're gonna head on out to do right now. All right, I've gone ahead and I've melted the butter in the skillet. Now I have this on a medium high, almost all the way to high, but we're gonna toss in our garlic, get that going. Then we're gonna toss in our mushrooms. Now this is just an eight ounce container or a half a pound of sliced cremini mushrooms. You can use white button mushrooms or whatever you like. That is entirely too large. So you wanna, if there's some bigger pieces, you might wanna break it up because just like with the artichokes, you want these pieces to incorporate really well. Now keep in mind these will cook down quite a bit so by the time we're done sauteing these off they're not going to be nearly as big but I do like to break them up just a little because then there's a little bit in every bite. Okay so we're gonna let these sweat out and we'll be back when it's time to move on. All right our mushrooms are where they need to be. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna start tossing in all the other veggies giving everything a good stir as we go. Um, the beauty part about this dip is really you can't mess it up. And like I said, I'm not going to thaw out that spinach. I'm not going to cook it ahead of time because we're just getting everything in here and it's going to add a little bit of moisture. That frozen spinach will add a little bit of moisture and it will help to loosen everything up. And you really do want that in here. I know a lot of people think that it's super necessary to, you know, totally squeeze dry that frozen spinach, but if you do things the right way, not completely necessary at all. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and toss the cream cheese in here. That's already soft. And I'm going to put the mayonnaise in, in with all the mayonnaise. So that's a cup of mayonnaise, two bricks of cream cheese. And now we're just gonna go ahead and get everything mixed in here together. And as this heats, everything's going to meld together. It's gonna be beautiful. You just want everything to melt together and become beautiful and cohesive. We're gonna add in our Parmesan cheese and our mozzarella cheese. And I'm going to go in here in just a few minutes after I get all of this mixed in. And I'm going to add in more cheese to the top. Get this all mixed in so it melts and is delicious and ooey gooey. And I'm just gonna clean up the edges a little. 
I'm going to cover the top with more of this shredded mozzarella and this is like an Italian blend so it's got like Asiago mozzarella, Parmesan, Provolone, Romano, Fontina. It's beautiful. So you use what you like. If you guys like something different it'll all work here um, but just make sure it's an Italian cheese. Then I'm going to hit it with some more parm just to give it a nice little topping and that'll give it a little extra bite. It'll be delicious. So what I'm going to do is, even though I'm taking this to a baby shower, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put a little dish out and we're going to serve it up for you with some baguette and I'll show you what it looks like. I'll be right back. So that's how you make the spinach artichoke dip. I have mine. It's warming over in the skillet. I'm going to take it to the baby shower in just a little while. And this was a special request from the um, mother-to-be. I make this sometimes, and the girls know that I make it, and sometimes when I know that I've been invited to a baby shower, I will always offer to bring something if they so desire. This is by far the most popular request. So you can see how delicious this is. I just have some baguette here, and, um, and all you do is, you guys know, this is a favorite, the spinach and artichoke dip, you know. You go to your favorite restaurant and they serve this sometimes with chips. I like it better with a beautiful piece of French bread. You can also serve this in a bread bowl. Nobody is going to turn this down no matter how you serve it. Are you ready to taste it? I have to. What do you think? Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's I pretty can, delicious. I can see why. Mm-hmm. Mm. That is awesome. And it's good for you. Well, just because it has vegetables in it doesn't mean it's good for you. <laughs> Definitely a special treat. And perfect for the holidays. I'm not kidding. So, if you always wanted to know how to make spinach artichoke dip but never knew how, there you go. If you always knew how to make it, maybe I made it a little bit different. And maybe you'll give it a try. And I hope you do try it. And I hope you do love it. And until next time, happy holidays.